Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo. We're back here with some more Killer Instinct. I finally have done it. I have finally sort of broken my barrier between the lower ranks and starting to advance through the higher ranks. I made it to rank 4 Apprentice, and I've been climbing ever since. These are all matches that you guys are going to see me pushing my way up to rank 5. And uh, actually today, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go play some more, and hopefully I'll be able to break into rank 5. But this was... The final match against this Orchid, this Ori Burn, I actually ended up fighting this Orchid three times in a row for some reason, in a ranked match, um, and got progressively better at understanding how this person played and basically just morally destroying them. The first match was really close, the second match was not really that close, and this is the final match uh, that was actually my rank up match into Apprentice, and um, actually no, I think it was already Apprentice. Either way, this person got absolutely de- Instructed. Uh, I basically at this point had knew every single tactic, every single piece of playstyle that this orchid used, and she just kept spamming jump. You know, it was one of her big things was to try and land jump attacks on me, so I would just counter them by jumping behind her. And right now, the way I'm playing as Glacius, I don't think is going to be something that I can do in the future. Jumping as much as as I'm doing is not a really good tactic. You're going to get anti-aired by better players once you start to move up into the ranks. But right now, that's what a lot of people are doing around rank three and four is just jumping a lot, they're spam jumping a lot. And I've been using that to my advantage by just sinking my jumps to land either on the other side of them, making use of my time, my better timing with the air attacks to kind of cut them out of the air. And I've been having good luck with just cutting people down and then laying right into combos. Now I have developed a couple of personal combos with Glacius that have really allowed me to extend the amount of damage that I've been doing, because that was really one of the big issues with Glacius, is he's a character that doesn't do an extremely large amount of damage right off the bat. You really have to build up the combos and the modifiers and start to deal uh, more damage over time. But once you can do that, you can unleash disgustingly awesome combos, kind of like the one I just used here to finish off this Orchid. And of course, I'm a good guy. I end my ultras early. No reason to keep somebody waiting in a ranked match. So this was, last night was a really good day for Killer Instinct for me. I was really hyped. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the next match you're going to see, Saber Wolf. This was also a victory for me, both at rank 4 now. Um, is my, my defense tactics have increased. You know, I, I know how to block in fighting games. I always have. I'm, I'm pretty good at blocking. It's not something that's an issue for me. I can read most of the fighters in this game decently well when it comes to being able to block their attacks. Saber Wolf's a little bit difficult with that freaking low attack. It's hard to be on time for that. But all I've had to do is sit back and calm down. I'm always on the offensive, just a little bit too much. And I don't see an issue with being on the offensive as long as, you be sh as long as you're sure to make sure not to leave yourself open to any punishment. And that's what I, I do a lot of. Uh, you know, it's something that I definitely was doing a lot of. I've cut back on that. I've broken out my defense tactics. I've been landing a lot more blocks. And just, in general, putting myself in a better position to constantly be on the attack to really be able to unleash a ton of damage. And it's it's seriously turned my skill up like like five notches just overnight. So that's been a really that's been just a really nice improvement in my personal skill set. It's uh I guess it's a good way to go into the new year for Killer Instinct. So these we're gonna have a couple win matches here. This was a Saber Wolf that I just I did really, really well against. Uh I believe this was one of the people though he actually did have a mic on, he was a really nice guy. Uh, I didn't have my mic, my mic in. I just, you know, I, I don't know. I, I didn't plug it in. I didn't feel like talking to anyone. And he was like, hey, you know, how's it going, Spartan? How you how you doing, man? Just so you know, I really hate Glacius. He's like my arch enemy, so you're probably going to win. And uh, I did, but he put up a pretty good fight. You know, the, the, the fighting at rank 4 has changed instantly from being at rank 3. Uh, there's just more people who are more consistent with their tactics and their strategies, which sometimes makes them a little bit too easy to read in a combo break. But at the same time, it's made for some really good fights. You know, I've actually had some close fights where I wasn't frustrated. It wasn't just me getting absolutely crushed. I wasn't just absolutely crushing them. I did run into a to a Sidira, who I'm convinced that wasn't actually the character that they've been leveling to rank 4 because they were really, really terrible. Uh, but I've been running into more Saber Wolves that just have some pretty solid tactics. It's it's a nice rank to be at. It really is. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And you can see this match right here. This was this, this was anybody's fight. At this point, I was down, but I managed to really just uh, lay the damage on this guy. I did not let him back away. And uh, got a nice little victory. And things went well. Now, the next match is going to be a Jago match. Pretty much all of my losses, once I've entered rank 4, moving into rank 5, were against Jago's. I am actually kind of convinced that Jago needs to be tuned down a little bit. He just does way too much damage way too easily. Uh, everybody who plays Jago, the one thing that I need to go into the practice arena and learn is 
to learn how to combo break the, the one combo that everyone does. It's one of the combos that is taught to you inside of the training, inside of the dojo, and everyone does it. You'll see this guy do it. It's a really standard uh, laser sword to kick combo, and everyone just runs it over and over and over. They just recycle it, and I should be able to combo break that. That's only my fault. But it deals an insane amount of damage in such a short period of time. It makes it brutally difficult to allow yourself to be punished even once by Jago without losing just about all your health. I mean, just look at this. A couple kicks, a laser sword, and a couple more kicks, and that was my whole... That was the rest of my health bar. It, it could have been gone if I didn't stop him there. Whereas with somebody like Lacey's, I really need to lay into this guy for a good amount of time. And, uh, you know, I just feel like he could, he could use from a little damage debuff. He, you know, he wouldn't suffer from that. He would still be an extremely good fighter. I just feel like the fights would be a little bit more fair. I, I think it's a really small amount... But until then, you know what, I'm just going to keep keep fighting him. I mean, that's all I can do is get good enough to the point where it doesn't matter that he deals an insane amount of damage in a short amount of time, and just do what I can to to ensure that I deal even more damage without letting him punish me at all. So that was really the issue. There was actually a lot of failures on my part in this match. A lot of uh, missed opportunities to deal excessive amounts of damage to him. You'll notice a couple times there's some missed micro where I'm just not dashing when I needed to be, because he was, he was definitely a defensive player as well. He would really sit back and just wait for me to go on assault every single time. And once he knew that that's how I was going to play, you know, he had no reason to change his strategy. He, he could just keep rolling that way. Um, there we go. So that was a decent decent block right there. And I just had to show him show him what's up and lay down some damage. The nice thing about this Jago is I've actually fought two other Jagos on my way into rank 4. And they were kind of uh, scumbag Jagos. You know, they were the Jago that teabagged me. This guy uh, tries to pull off some ridiculous, like, 100-hit ultra, which I'm not a fan of. You know, it is. It's like, yes, the ultra is cool, but you can end it short, you know? You have that ability to cut it short just for the sake of the other player. I mean, ranked match is going to get tense. People are going to have frustrations. There's no reason to extend that frustration by just kind of being, you know, a, a, a show-off. Like, I right, look, at, I'll just do this 300-point ultra, which is right here. He, he breaks into it. I just left myself exposed, and that was the end of that, but... You know, I learned a lot from that match, and I think the next Jago I'm going to run into, I'm going to lay back a little bit more, just play a little bit more defensively, and it's going to let me become victorious in the end. So the last match that we have here is another Saber Wolf, and this was an interesting match, because uh, I was playing this person, he was actually talking as well, he had, his, he had his connect mic on, actually, he didn't know he was talking, and he must play the game a decent amount. Uh, but he was somebody who was very frustrated. He blamed the game the entire time for any of his uh, failures. He's, he said his controller just like, oh, my character just derped out all of a sudden, just stops functioning. But the one thing he kept saying was that I played Glacius weird, which I found to be very interesting. So I wanted to ask any of you Killer Instinct guys out there if you see my Glacius playstyle as being different or awkward. You know, how did Glacius normally play? I mean, to be honest, I haven't watched too much Killer Instinct gameplay. I've watched a little bit of Maximilian, dude. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to compare anything to him. He is a probably one of the best KI players in the world right now, I would say. I mean, he is completely ama He is just amazing at this game. Uh, so I don't know what they meant by what he meant by that. You know, why my play style was weird. But maybe because I play a little bit too, too aggressive. I definitely would like to start using, you know, some of his ranged abilities to pull myself in a little bit more often. It's just not something I have down, uh, you know, really well. But this guy was also super aggressive, and I used that against him. He was just way, way too into just trying to thrash me as quickly and as fast as he could. Which is a good tactic for Saber Wolf if you can really play him. But the thing is, he just... I mean, look at that. You know, that was just... He had no sense of timing right off the round break there, and just was convinced that he was going to stand there. And I was like, no, dude, I'm just going to lay into you now. Again, combo breakers, still something I need to work on, though. I mean, you'll notice throughout all of these matches that I'm having a ton of issue laying down solid combo breakers, reading the characters, and it's just something that I'm going to have to develop over time. I'm going to have to pay a little bit more attention in some matches, possibly play some exhibition, and focus on doing nothing but combo breakers, you know, let them attack me even. It's just, it needs a little work, that's all, but in general, my skill is rising. I'm super excited to continue to play KI. It's not going anywhere on the channel, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. If you're familiar with Glacius and his normal playstyle, be sure to let me know what you think of my playstyle. It's been Tony Mo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.